Morning, this is Mr. William, West Virginia. It's the second day of February 2019, and I'm going to do something I probably have never done before, but I think it's kind of important. Um, I have just had a book dropped into my hands that I started reading that I literally, um, I have to force myself to put it down so I don't read it too fast. Um, it's called Through Reluctant Eyes, and it's encouragement, ideas, and antidotes for individuals facing serious illness as a patient or caregiver. Um, and this is about an illness that was observed by a friend of mine, Lisa Pence. Um, my buddy Randy Pence, her husband, um, ended up with leukemia, and he was healed by the Lord. But this is the book, and if you get a chance, get on Amazon and see if you can find it and buy it. If you are facing an illness or if you have somebody that's in your life that's facing an illness and you have to deal with it. Um, so far, what I've read, it is just wonderful. It is written well. It's very funny. And it's set up in a way where it's kind of an easy read. But um, Lisa and Randy are two of the finest Christians I've ever known in my life. Great people of God. They live in Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, he dropped this book off to me. And I'd love for a bunch of you to buy it um, and read it if you need it. Don't just buy it just to get another book because it's, it's really a useful tool. Um, the word that I have today comes from just waking up and, and God speaking to me, which always kind of cracks me up because I sometimes think I am the least, I'm just the least person that he should be talking to. But I came to a revelation this morning. My children, as much as they've all grown up and I'm, you know, getting older now and can be grouchy at times, um, I think they still want to hear from me. Um, they know what they're doing, much most of them, and, and some of them don't. And they come to me for advice and for different things. And I, what I've realized is as a father, as an earthly father, my children will probably always need me. And what I've realized about the father is that he loves to speak to me because he knows I do like to hear from him. And I'm always surprised when he does because I, I always think, well, why are you talking to me? You probably got a bunch of other children that would listen way better. But he does. And he still does. And uh, it always amazes me. But... Um, this morning I woke up and I've had a song and I've had this scripture running through my head. And it's very simple. It's when Jesus was brought before Pilate. And um, they're trying to let, convince Pilate to, 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 to really to kind of to punish Jesus. And Pilate desires to free Jesus. And in um, chapter 18, verse 30, 20, 38, Pilate says unto him, What is truth? And when he has said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and he says unto them, I find in him no fault at all. Now, Pilate asked this question because Pilate was in a position that he did not want to be in. He was um, in charge of uh, the government in the area of Jerusalem, and it was a mess there. He had had to put down so many insurrections, it's not funny, and I think to some degree... Caesar was getting exasperated with the fact that they kept that the Jews seemed to be these troublemaking people and Pilate couldn't keep control of it. And for him, his truth was he was in a, a garbage hole of a place that he didn't want to be in, that he was sick and tired of having to deal with stuff. And and he knew that if anything else went wrong that was bad, he could probably lose his job or maybe even worse, lose his life. And what he was wanting to know is what is truth? Because my truth is that I'm, my life sucks and I don't want to be here. And maybe for some of you, you're thinking, what is truth? Maybe you're in a job you don't like. Maybe you're in a relationship that's, that's killing you. Maybe you want to be in a relationship. Maybe you're in a church you don't like or you can't tell whether or not it's the right place to be. There's, a, there's all these things that happen to us in life that cause us to wonder if we're living in truth or if we're living in in a lie, in something that's not where we're supposed to be. And for Pilate, he asked Jesus, and then his feelings were, this guy hasn't done anything wrong. Why have they brought him to me? I don't want to deal with this. And he had to. Now, Jesus, it's funny because in John 14, many, many, many chapters behind that, Jesus is speaking with his disciples, and he comforts them. By telling them, um, 
because he tells him that he's going to be going away to his house and, and, his, and he's going away and where he goes, there's going to be many, many mansions for his disciples. And Thomas comes and says, Master, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way there? I mean, you're saying you're going somewhere and we're going to be able to follow, but we don't know because we don't know where the way is. And Jesus explains, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man, no one comes next to the Father except through the union with me. To know me is to know my Father too. And from now on, you will really realize that you have seen him and experienced him. Now just think if Pilate had been with the disciples on that day when Jesus says, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. What a difference his life would have been. He had to make a tough decision. He ended up having to punish Jesus, crucify Jesus, because he couldn't change the minds of the people. And maybe for some of you, I can't change your mind. But all I can tell you is that Jesus is the way. He's the truth and he's the life. No man can get to Father no man can get to God the Father without going through Jesus. Without having a union with Jesus, you can't get to the Father. Every other way that anyone's ever told you is not the way. And there are no other ways. Scripture is very clear that he is the only way to heaven. That's why he came to earth. To experience what he experienced. To give us an example of perfect living and to give us a way. And then he went to the cross and died for all our sins. Took those away. Took every sin that every man would ever commit at any point in history and he eradicated it and all we have to do is believe on him and follow him to the best of our ability it's not even about following perfectly people it's about following with a heart that says i mess up every day i can't get this thing right lord but i don't know what else to do but to follow you I know some of you are struggling. I know some of you just can't figure your way to truth. And what your truth is, is that you look in the mirror every day and you see failure. You see something that you just can't see past. And I want to encourage you to stop looking at yourself and look unto him. Behold him because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And once you start looking for him and looking on him intently, with all that you know to look on, you're going to find the peace of God that rests in here and that will settle all the issues of your life. Because see, most of us have screwed up large portions of our life. If, I mean, if we would be honest, most of us have screwed up large portions of our lives. And because we've screwed up those portions, it gets stuck in here and it gets stuck in here. And we don't realize that he's already died for those. He's already put those, he's already taken those sins and thrown them into the sea to forget them and never remember them ever again. But we do. And that's why we have to stop looking at ourselves and start looking to him. Look to him. And you'll, you'll find your way. You'll find your truth and you'll find your life. All right. Hey, this is Mr. William West Virginia. I haven't been outside yet. I know it's cold and it's snowy here, but, um, I'm going to go out here in a little bit and see what, uh, what it looks like out there. I hope you have a great day. Uh, for my Sabbath friends, happy Sabbath. Have a great day. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Shalom.